Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to allow your users to download content from your website. Now this is a relatively simple tutorial, uh, but it's applicable to almost any website because uh, many websites offer downloads uh, to their users such as ebooks, um, just other files and templates and things like that. So to get us started, um, I'm going to create a new HTML file. And then I'm just going to take out all this other code. Normally you'd leave that for your HTML document, but for um, you guys to see it easier, I'm just going to delete it. Now I'm going to open up, uh, I have a folder already created. Um, I call it Uploads. And uh, I have a file in it uh, that, we, I, that we created in a previous tutorial. And what I'm going to do is go to, I'm going to right click inside, and I'm going to go to New, and then Compressed Zip File. And then I'm just going to call that Download. Now I'm going to take and put this file into... Uh, the zip file and the reason you need a zip file is because if I were to just link to a specific file um, such as this SWF file it would open it and play the flash file basically um, if I were to do it for an image file it'd show the image um, you could always right click and download that um, and just save it out but for files like PHP and HTML um, it would just open up the file rather than allowing you to download it so with the zip file, it first of all allows you to compress it, um, make the file smaller, and so therefore you have less, um, you're using less space on your uh, server, and also uh, it allows you to um, have downloadable content. So what I'm going to do is go to insert, and then I'm going to go to hyperlink, and we're just going to call it, let's just put source files, and then we're going to link it. Um, I'm just going to put in my website, http colon slash slash www.rivercitygraphics.com. And then what we're going to do is link it to that folder. Um, we're going to say uploads with capital U. Uploads and then slash. And the file uh, was called download.zip. And you're going to want to make sure you put the .zip on there or else it will not work. Um, and then we can just click OK. So now, um, just to make it a little more snazzy, I'm going to take out the source files part and insert an image uh, in that space. And I have a f image I'm using on my site for downloadable stuff. Um, we can just call it source files. Um, that's the alternate text. And then it put in the file where it's at on my computer. Um, I'm just going to real quick actually just take this, copy it. And this should link to uh, the image, basically. All right, so now, and then I'm going to make sure the image doesn't have a border because it just looks better. Um, so border and zero, uh, depending on what you want. Oh, and then I'm going to take out the uh, text that we had in previously, um, so it just shows the image. Now, this image right here, uh, when you click on it on an actual web page, it would allow you to download the files uh, within it. So I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, here's my page on my website for this actual uh, tutorial and it allows you to download the files uh, at the bottom and so when I click on it it will prompt me to uh, download the file and I can save it or open it and you save it and then you can save it to your desktop um, open up the zip file and you've got everything right there um, so it's very nice um, to allow these files to be downloaded um, it's just a nice some nice functionality uh, it gives you more options with your website um, so that's about it for uh, downloadable content. Um, I want to uh, ask some of you guys to make sure that you come and sign up at the website. I've only had a couple people sign up so far, um, but I've already been uh, participating in the forums and stuff with some people. Um, it's going pretty well. Um, so I just wanted to also ask you to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.